And the first dish I'm going to cook is a celebration of Yorkshire beef. We've got a nice minced onion suet pudding. Seal it up, cling film, into the steamer for about 30 minutes. The oxtail, which we call a carpaccio because of the thin slice basically, has been cooked. The meat picked off the bone and then pressed into a terrine, and then we'll slice that up to nice thin slices. Um, corned beef fritters, which is slow cooked salted beef, uh, picked down, pressed again, and then we pan it and uh, deep fry. And then the last part is the filleted beef, which we cook rare or whatever preference the customers want. Uh, that's tied up with some nice aromatic herbs and then we're ready to go. So when we come to plating up the dish, the oxtail carpaccio goes onto a nice warm plate. We'll tip out the, the dariole of the suey pudding, then the corned beef uh, goes next to that, then the fillet of beef, we've been pan frying, and then we've got the parsnip puree. For presentation basically, we can add a few uh, seedlings, some nice garden herbs, and then of course we've got the sauce, which is uh, great and is quite robust. Um, it's reduced down the true food stock, the beef stock, which is reduced down with our own beer, the Two Chefs beer. Uh, and uh, we serve that separately because people in Yorkshire, they like a bit of gravy. So there we have the celebration of Yorkshire beef. Okay, so the next dish is going to be a saddle of venison. It's going to be cooked over charcoal with um, molasses cake, uh, deep fried sweet potato dabs, and King's ginger wine juices. Okay, so the venison, uh, we get the saddle. Uh, we're going to cook that for about eight minutes or so over uh, the charcoal on the green egg. Uh, we've already made some molasses cake, which is a nice dark, sort of beery cake, if you like. Um, and then we've got some actual pieces of uh, sweet potato, which we've blanched, and we're going to put those into some batter, deep fry that. And then with the game stock from True Foods, we're reducing that down again with some more of the King's Ginger Syrup. Okay, so the first thing, we'll put the syrup onto the plate. We'll garnish it with some of the molasses cake, with the, uh, the puree of sweet potato. Then we've got the venison, uh, slice that into um, half a dozen pieces. And then finally, the sweet potato dabs, and finish it with some tahoon cress. Um, the sauce itself, again, we serve separately. So that's reduced down the True Foods game stock uh, with some green ginger wine. Uh, that is the dish of the venison with the sweet potato dabs, molasses cake, and green ginger juices. Okay, so it's a pan roast uh, loin of red ale lamb with a pressed shoulder, deep fried haggis fritter, pickled red onions, goat's curd, and rosemary juices. We uh, shallow fry the loin of lamb first for about four or five minutes, um, spin it over. Uh, then cook it to nice and pink. Uh, the shoulder, which we've cooked overnight and steamed, we'll pick the meat off the actual shoulder itself, press that down, made it into a terrine. Uh, the haggis fritter, uh, again, to steep fried, and then to plate the actual dish, we want the sheep's curd onto the plate. Slice the loin of lamb. The loin of lamb can, is nice and pink, that, this fans around against the shoulder. The charred leek, uh, place that over the top of the whole dish itself. Garnish it with the pickle red onions, the haggis fritter, and then for the sauce, uh, we reduce down um, red wine, garlic, rosemary, with the True Foods uh, lamb stock, um, and some nice um, garden seedlings and garden herbs. And that is a plate of Rydell spring lamb.